back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 of an old guy gaming, and it is June the 3rd. We're ready to wrap up the end of the month. Uh, we are going to do one thing before uh, we do that, though. Um, there's a couple things in the sale that are tempting. Uh, there's this really nice T-Series Voltra tractor with all kinds of different cool things that you can you can add to it. Uh, and it, it can go up to two, if you put the biggest engine on it, it can go up to 271 horse. Uh, really tempting to be honest with you, but you know, not really something we absolutely need to do right now. We have three tractors and, you know, I think we're just going to keep going with the three tractors that we have uh, for the time being, even though our McCormick and our New Holland, um, are very old. Um, I, th I think we'll still, we, we better just stick with what we're doing. The other thing here is we have another, uh, a much newer Deutsch Fahr. It's only got 16 months on it. Uh, my Deutsch Fahr has like uh, an enormous amount of months on it. It's got like 93 months on it. So we could sell this for about $20,000 and buy the, <coughs> the newer one. It costs us around $50,000 to do that. But, I mean, the time is coming fairly soon here where I'm going to buy a new combine anyways, and, uh, uh, you know, we're going to upgrade to a nicer combine. So again, because of those two things, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, I think, to to do either one of those things. As nice as the it would be, I really wouldn't mind having that Voltra tractor, but we just don't need it. Okay, so we're going to go over here with our bucket that's almost as big as the telehandler itself. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to see if we can scoop up this little bit of extra forage that spilled out. Um, and then we'll just put it in a pile and use it the next time we do bunker silage. And we'll just kind of clean this up here. Yeah, why don't we do this? Why don't we put it right over here? I'd kind of like it to be on the concrete or gravel, just so a little bit easier to see. There we go. Okay, cool. Does it tell us? Um, yeah, it's already 63%. Okay, cool. So it probably takes about the same amount of time, I'm guessing, as the bales. Our bales are sixty percent. Yeah, so that's a we did the the silage bunker before we did the bales, so that makes sense. Uh, and you can see too that we have five and a half loads that we got out of the fields there. Five and a half loads. This is a a partial stack there. Okay, cool. Um, considering, you know, that this whole entire field went to the bunker, and um, that's why we have less loads, you know, than we otherwise would have. All right, let's head back to the farm and do our end of the month finances, and then we're going to move on into July. I'm hoping that we will get uh, one, or th one or three big juicy, you know, wheat and or oat harvesting contracts. I'll take either one of them because we can get straw and also use those for flour. I have to figure out where I'm going to put this bucket. Um, should probably actually keep it out at the other shed with the telehandler. And let's also get the bag handler back on here since we use that all the time. I just temporarily put it over here. Oh yeah, that's great. Plenty of space. Okay, so let's see. We want to do our end of the month stuff. Let's go back to the farmhouse. We'll sit down out on the porch with a glass of iced tea and uh, wrap up the end of the month. Okay, guys, let's take a look at our finances here. 
Uh, so in June, we purchased uh, the bucket for $27.50. Uh, we spent $26,000 on construction. So that is the, uh, the silage bunker and probably the little bit of landscaping and thinking that we did along with that. Uh, we spent $12,774 in vehicle repairs. We spent $10,000, in leasing costs. <clears throat> that was mostly for the forage wagon, but we're also continuing uh, to lease the fast baler and a third roller, uh, the latter two of which I'm going to purchase. So we're, le we're using the lease, lease to own thing on that. Uh, property maintenance was $797. Um, so that's the expense I'm I'm. I believe for our, uh, well, we, we just have to pay a fee for, for, you know, a certain amount of money for each of the buildings that we have on the property. So that's what that's for. Uh, production costs were $23. Fuel costs were $19.84. Water costs $4.82. Harvest income $3.23 from just a little bit of grain that we sold. Contract income, we grossed $46,000. Wage payment was uh, $10,000, 10 dollars 10 dollars uh, miscellaneous, um, we need to, uh, what, I don't think, did we must have, we must have paid our pallet worker already, because where else would that have come from? We would have paid the pallet worker and the other would be, well, no one don't have anything at the train station. I know I haven't paid my workers for for helping with the trailer. So let's do that right now. Um, so let's see, we have, we're just going to say we have six loads. We'll just say six loads. Um, so that's $600 because we pay two workers, 50 bucks a load. Okay. So I'm, I must've already paid the pallet mover worker. Cause I'm not sure where else that money would have come from. If I, if I discover otherwise, then we will come back and pay them too. But I think I must have just done that early. So I can't think of what else that other money would have come from. Um, so, yeah, we'll say we're even. The worker will let me know if I haven't paid him. Put it that way. <laughs> uh, okay, so that wraps up June. What we're going to do now is we're going to head into July. And hopefully, like I said, we'll be able to get a couple of big uh, grain harvesting contracts so that we can keep our, our grain mill um, making flour. Uh, right now, it's it's still operating, but it's it's pretty low. It goes through that grain really quickly. So we're talking the uh, we only have a thousand liters left. Uh, e over the period of three days, it's already almost empty once again, making flour. So yeah, we're gonna really need to to get to up our grain game. We're gonna have to get a really big field of grain to keep this thing running twenty four seven, which is the plan. That's what that's what I want to do. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. And we'll go on into July. All right, guys, it's July 1st. Uh, let's take a look, first of all, at the contracts. We are looking for harvesting contracts, and we want the largest ones. Uh, we will borrow those items, and then uh, any other substantially large harvesting contract we will take. Uh, that's wheat that's oats this is eh, i don't really want canola we might take that one too uh, we'll take the cultivating uh we have the baling contracts here this is a hay as opposed to silage and actually i want to take some hay contracts because um i'm getting low on my own hay uh, so let's borrow the item for the big field and then that's a hay, that's a hay, that's a silage. That's a hay. That's a hay. That's a silage. Yeah, we'll just take the silage ones too. Uh, okay, let's see if there's... We'll take anything that's cultivating because it's pretty easy stuff. Um, this is a silage for field 18. Uh, so we'll take that. Okay, here's a big uh, oat one. But we've already borrowed the other combine, so we'll just take that as is. Another cultivating. And then once we finish these other uh, cultivating ones, uh, I'm sorry, um, harvesting ones, they, those will probably turn into cultivating. All right, cool. So um, we got ourselves a John 
Deere's T560i. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. And it looks like the header they gave us is a little bit smaller too. Um, so what is this header? It's a 625X. Uh, what size is that? John Deere 625X. This is a 7.6 meter header. Our header is actually 8.5. It's a little longer. I wonder if um I wonder if I could lease a longer header. These are all 70,000. They're 40 foot headers. 10.8 to 12 meters. That's a 63,000. That's a 9.2. That's a 9.2. And an 8.5. This one, one of these two are, are probably what we had before uh, for, the, for last month's barley. And that was a nice big header. How much would this cost at least? 4,500. Yeah, let's go with this one. Okay, so we'll lease that. That's going to be um, over at the store because obviously there's no more room for it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to move this header and this header trailer just over by the tree because we're not going to use it at all. And I want to get a tractor set up with our baler. All right, guys, I got everybody out here. Uh, as you can see, I got my two big Aperion trailers. Um, we're not messing around with those little trailers this time. We're using the big boys. And uh, let's get you started up here. Uh, first need to unfold, okay. That's working, okay. There he goes. All right, cool. Very good. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're going to get uh, field 69 here knocked out first. And then we'll pretty much just hit all of the fields <coughs> and have um, have the bailing happen right behind us. So we get, you know, kind of two birds knocked out with one stone. And uh, then after that, my plan is to, you know, do all these contracts here in July. And we're probably going to buy, um, let me show you here. We're probably going to buy field 57 um, because that's got a, a crop of sorghum on it. We won't get straw, but we can still get the sorghum for the grain mill and then buy that field. I've, I've wanted this field, you know, it's been in my plans to eventually buy this field anyway. Um, it's, um, how much is it? It is $372,000. So after we do all these contracts today, we probably still won't have um, all of that money, but we'll have enough to where we won't have to take a humongous loan uh, from the bank to get it to work. So that's the tentative plan. And then that field will become ours. Now I have, um, we have a little bit of a problem, I believe. And that is that none of the computer farmers, as far as I can tell, have planted sugar beets. Um, and they don't plant sugar cane at all, not that I've ever noticed. So that means we're not gonna really be able to get any sugar for quite some time. Um, so what we'll probably end up doing is is buying an, uh, another field, because when we buy 58, I think that's what that was, that's probably gonna be our grain field. And I am gonna expand it too, because there's a lot more room uh, to expand that field and then we'll probably buy another field like after our, our big payout in January uh, and it'll be a substantial you know pretty good size field maybe not the largest but um, and then we'll plant our own sugar beets uh, because yeah there's just no sugar beet crop anywhere on this map that's been planted so you know once we run out of sugar we're pretty much out of sugar until um, you know, until we can get more. Uh, the only other option is there are mods that allow you to 
actually purchase you know intermediate products such as sugar and I might look into doing that too as a possibility I'm not really sure so I'll have to think about that but we'll just have to see how that goes all right yeah I'm, I'm not detecting any issues at all using this header um, even though it's you know quite a bit larger than it's uh, you know or it's larger than what this combine apparently is rated for but it seems to be working just fine um, at, if, if nothing else you know maybe we're going a little bit slow slower but it seems to be working not detecting any issues with it so all right well I'm gonna keep working on this and I will bring you guys back with an update at some point I gotta get this turned around because as usual the auger is in the wrong position and we'll go from there okay so I'll see you guys in a bit all right guys I'm back with an update we are almost finished here with field 69 uh, just have the tail end of it everything's gone pretty well uh, one of my workers that I sent up to the grain mill in the semi there got all messed up at that spot on the highway over by the uh, the cereal mill and the ballpark and all that where there's that construction that is a really bad spot for the AI to get hung up on but the second guy that I sent out there seemed to be able to get around it oh and guess what I started up my baler and I forgot to put the the pickup down so yeah that's not really helping out a whole lot is it so we need to get that fixed uh, but overall it's worked pretty good pretty darn good so we'll just wait for him to come around there and then we'll go back here and put the the lift down oh I guess we have to be in there ourselves and I'll just have to go around and get that other stuff that he missed um, let's see I also went ahead and, and got the AI mowing field 71 so that's all mode but we got to get it let me get an AI over there in a tractor to TED it um, after we're finished with this field in between, um, you know, moving to the next field and whatnot. So, yeah, everything's going well. This header is working perfectly. No issues with it whatsoever, even though it's supposedly too large for this combine. So, yeah, it works great. Yeah, means if we ever buy this combine in the future, we know that we can also use this header with it if we have to. So one more pass and then maybe probably just a little tiny sliver there. Really, really enjoy this game. Okay, we're going to have to kind of swing wide so the baler can follow us. If we cut it too sharp then it's not going to work and just get this last little bit here So I'll offload in this truck and get this guy down the road and then jump in the baler and finish those two swaths that I messed up there. So the uh, because the header is so long on this, I have to kind of back into the trailer a little bit at an angle <laughs> to get the to get the grain in. And in fact, I should I need to put some grain in the front. Okay, hold on. Let's um, stop you. Okay. Just stay there for a second. Okay. We'll let him fill up, and then I'll go get this other baling done here. And the last little bit. Oh, nope. 
this is the last little bit. There we go. All right, so we are finished with the baler in the case on this field. So let's take a look and see uh, what our next field's going to be. So we've got 59 and 29 for wheat, um, and we also have 35 for oats, and one up there too. Okay, so um, yeah, let's go. Let's just go over and do fifty nine next. That makes the most sense since it's just right across the way there. And in fact, I can probably just have the tractor follow the combine over there, and we can jump right in and get started. Now I want to see how full you are. You are thirty two percent, so you still have a little bit of grain left. Okay, so let's pull you over to the next field. Let's see, where do I want to stage you? Probably right along here is good. And then let's also grab the other worker and cancel that job and then set destination and have you pull in maybe right here. Okay, if we look at our contracts, uh, we have completed, oh, well, we haven't completed anything yet. Okay, right, good. Okay, so let's hop out of you and into you. I have to remember to turn the baler on when we get over to the field before we actually start. Oh, he is followed. Okay. Never mind. We're good. We're good to go. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're going to knock out this field, and then after that, decide uh, what the next field is that we'll go to. I might, um, I might bring another trailer down here for the oat field, because I want to mix the oats in with the wheat, of course, on these two trailers. Uh, but get the oat field knocked out because we're, you know, still down in this vicinity. So I think that's what we'll do. Oh, you know what, though? I was going to also get a... Okay, let's cancel him for a second. Uh, let's get a, a tether going uh, here in the interim. So, yeah, you can just stay there now. We'll use this vent here. And then I'm going to have the AI bail field 71 with the V-Rite because it seems to work pretty good on that field. I've done it a couple times now and it's worked quite well. Uh, but tedding and and even just basic windrowing is something that the AI can do quite easily. This thing is awesome. <laughs> we need to get, get ourselves one of these. Okay, go to it, worker. Make me proud. Turn that grass into hay, baby. Um, all right, let's see. Do I want to get you doing anything? What size is this tractor? This is a 718 Vario. I wonder if this is enough to pull our big baler. Um, let's see. Let's go small. That's a 700 Vario. So yeah, it would be it would be a medium. A 718 has a 188 horse engine, and our uh, baler requires 180 or no, it requires 245. Yeah, it'd be a little too much for it. Um, You could probably work the fast baler for the couple silage fields, but I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I want to focus mostly on the um, harvesting contracts 
now and then I can always do the hay later. The hay is a lot easier for me to do because I've done it so many times. I don't have to think too hard about it, you know? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's get you back going. All right, guys. Well, um, I will bring you back once again for an update in a little while. All right, guys, we're back with an update. Uh, I'm just about finished here with field 59. And what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, um, I did when it, I did go ahead and take uh, 58, the field in front of us. It's a canola field. Uh, we won't get any grain or straw from it, but, you know, we'll get money from it. And money's always good, too. So I think I'm just going to do it, get it knocked out. Okay, it looks like we, our guy got back on track there. Um, all right, so let's... I'm just going to drive through the field. I know I shouldn't, but it doesn't, doesn't actually hurt anything. It would in real life, but this isn't real life. So, yeah. Um, actually, too, let me get... This might mess up my follower here, but I want to get more on the a little more on the field. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Yeah, he's like totally confused. All right, we're gonna have to hop out and move this bale out of the way. So while we're doing the canola field, I'm going to actually send the that tractor and baler uh, back to my farm to get the V-rake and then get them going baling on field 71 um, while, you know, while we're doing the canola field because we don't need the baler for the canola field. I think there is actually a mod though that lets you collect a canola straw. And there might be one for soybeans, too, actually, for that matter. I don't know how realistic soybean straw would be, but I think canola straw is an actual thing. I guess it's a, a finer stock than the cereal grains, from what I understand. Um, but, you know, the reason... The other reason I'm doing going to do the canola now because it's right here and I don't want to have to move this combine across the map twice with this header on because I don't have a trailer for it so we'll just do everything down here first all right so let's get the rest of um this grain in this trailer and even though it's not completely full I'm gonna actually go drop it off excellent okay so let's stop you and stop you whoops Get out of there, Bale. There we go. Okay, so yeah, let's send this guy to the farm uh, to get the V-rake. So set destination. We'll just put you right there in the driveway. And uh, we want you to go drop this grain off. Let me look at my contracts here. Okay, so 69 is showing complete. But our other really big wheat field is 31. Uh, oh, that's oats, though, actually. Okay, we got to be careful because I don't want to sell any of the wheat. I want to keep all of it. 
So you would your twenty percent done on twenty nine. Well, okay, let me look here. Do I have any wheat fields left? We did this one and this one, and we only have twenty nine left. Hmm. I'm. I think I'm gonna send my combine since it's not too far up to twenty nine and get twenty nine knocked out. while I have the, the John Deere working on field 58 because I, uh, I just don't want to take the chance of, you know, of losing any of the wheat or, or selling any of the wheat because we want to keep it all. So I think that's what we'll do. All right. And you're not completely full either. So that means we're going to, we're going to send you up to field 29 to just stage. You going to be able to make it up there. Okay. Looks like it. And let's get this combine started on the canola field. And I can just have a worker do that. I don't need to do it myself because I don't have to babysit a baler. This field will probably work better if I have, have them go crossways. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, go to it. I'm gonna get these bales moved back a little bit so they don't get in the way when he's turning around on this end. All right, now I parked my other trailer over by the oat field that we were gonna do right here, but um, instead, oh crap, I had a worker in there the whole time too. Uh, I'm going to bring this over to the canola field as well. Oh, wait a minute. Or no, 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 no. It's a cultivating contract. Oh, okay. Okay. I misread it. That explains it though. <laughs> I, was, I was like, it's a cultivating contract. I was like so baffled for a minute there. I, I thought that was an oat field. Well, I was an oat field actually that we were going to harvest. Train's not coming, is it? bump over the tracks here okay that explains that mystery <laughs> I was a little confused there for a bit okay so we will use this trailer to haul the canola and it takes a little longer for canola to fill up the combine so he'll probably make a couple of passes before it's all said and done I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup work but that's normal okay so you are staged here good okay so let's get you going on field 71 and then we're going to pull our combine up to that field we were just at and just get it knocked out because i want to control the rest of the grain dumping for the for the wheat all right did our tether miss that square over there or am i just seeing a visual glitch all right hold on a second we might have to Do a little bit of cleanup work here, it looks like. Yeah, completely missed that whole patch. I wonder why. That is really weird. Huh. Alright, well, we'll have to get it knocked out then. Here, let's quickly... Uh, offload the combine so we can keep it going because I guess it's full. Okay, we're good to go there. Back to you. All right, I'm just going to run over here and make sure he didn't miss anything. I, th I think he actually did not miss the border beyond the edge of the field because as far as the AI is concerned, that's not part of the field. So we'll just need to do this little part here too.
Okay. That takes care of that. Now we will send um, this tractor and the tether up to the north fields and stage them up there for later. Okay, so yeah, you just go here and stay there. Okay, let's get this guy going. We're probably going to have to do the first run here because when they get close to the trees, they get a little confused, so... That, come to think, but I should probably just do a headland all the way around. The downside to doing this is it's going to drop a few bales in the in the way, so we'll just have to see how well the AI deals with that, I suppose. Alrighty. Okay, worker, go ahead and windrow. <laughs> That's what he thinks he's doing. Hopefully they can get around the, the bales on the end. Okay, we got that done. You are good to go. Um, I was going to do something with this guy, but I can't remember what it was, so we'll just won't worry about it. Right? Oh, yeah, right. We need to get you up to the that north field. That's the next thing we got to do. I'll just have to come back and bail this one later. Uh, not a big deal. It's not a big field either, so it won't take too long. We've got some fairly tight spots here. Um, I'm just wondering if I should do a headland or not. Well, let's just try it. Let him let him go and see what he does. Yeah, he's going to have a little bit of trouble. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're going to we're going to put him in the um, direction of the furrows in the field. Because I've noticed with this combine, you know, using the, the too big header it has a hard time otherwise. I'm messing up my straw swath here too. I'm going to have to move the truck. Okay, I th think that'll work. Let's we'll just see how... Watch him for a second here and see how he does. Okay, looks like he's going to handle it all right. Very good. Okay, let's check on our AI baler. Looks like that combine's ready for another load too. Seems to be doing pretty good. All right. Very good, very good indeed. 
Actually, here, let's watch and see what he's going to do on this end of the field. It doesn't have a lot of room to maneuver, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I can, I'll come back and get that little bit that he missed later. Okay, so back to you. All right, guys. Uh, well, I think uh, we're well underway at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here and bring you back with an update here in a little while. 